health and disease is always multifactorial, but again, more than ever. <clears throat> and I'd like to um, talk about hormonally for a moment because estrogen, it, if you look at like who fared worse or who is faring worse, a lot of it is postmenopausal women or men who and what you know what's the what's the common denominator between those two there's a lack of estrogen and men have some estrogen but not to the degree that women do and postmenopausal women if they're not being replenished with bioidenticals then their estrogen is you know tanked off the cliff and we know that estrogen is anti-inflammatory it's supportive of the immune system it helps support the antiviral components of the immune system and so <clears throat> and so we um we have to be thinking about that like again globally you know, what are the things we can do what were the weak links if we're dealing with post covid uh, long haul and you know when i think about like the brain fog and the muscle and joint pain and the fatigue that's very similar to a postmenopausal woman who comes to see me and doesn't have any estrogen. And so again, it's like, what can we do to refill our tank, to, to clean out our soup pot? So there is room for it to cook and bubble over and taste delicious. And so um, making sure, you know, if you're a man listening also, but certainly for women, and certainly if you're in that perimenopausal postmenopausal age to be working with someone to get the right bioidentical hormone replacement and you know also progesterone testosterone dhea but specifically estrogen um it, it's a huge one and I, I don't think we ever really think about estrogen in the immune system we think about estrogen and being curvy or we think about estrogen when we're having hot flashes um so we have to remember which is part of what i'm constantly, if you've heard me talk before, you've probably heard me say this, but I'm constantly preaching that replacing the hormones is not just to get rid of the hot flashes. It's to support our brains. It's to prevent Alzheimer's. It's to support our bones. It's to support our immune system. It's to support our blood sugar regulation. And we know we're seeing a big issue with long haul and blood sugar regulation. And so it's all these things and blood sugar regulation and your diet is another really, really important one.